Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to the tier list. <sighs> this is going to be hard for me. Um, well, two things. One, before I start this tier list, I have some unfortunate sad news. Um, on Twitter, um, just now, at the time of recording this video, which is on uh, Monday, the 16th of December, a F Ninjago fan by the name of Jake Smith something on Twitter... Unfortunately, he passed away in a car accident um, where he was, where he lives, um, and he didn't survive the crash. So my thoughts and prayers go to his family and to his friends on Twitter everywhere. Um, sad that this stuff happens to good people. I hate how bad stuff happens to good people and good stuff happens to bad people. So, this video will probably be in honor of his memory, so, because he loves Jay, and what do you know, um, the tier list that I'm doing for, um, is the Jay season, the only known Jay season to exist. Sad that he had to pass away before season 12 aired, um, so, he'll never truly get to see if, uh, Jay gets, quote, repaired, sad to hear this so but hopefully we can lift our moods up with um a tier list with skybound episodes now as you know this season sort of divided the community as a whole because of how controversial it was um so there's only 10 so let's see where is the infamous infamous this one is one the worst season premiere because it made no sense at all and it just it just really did not make not a cunt's debut very good it made it like somewhat subpar it, it, it he he could have it could have been much better any other way i did not like this episode at all it was pretty bad it wasn't batshit terrible that's i'm not sure if it's batshit terrible but it was pretty bad as a premiere. It was pretty bad. So I'll say D. I'll say D tier. Then we have Public Enemy number one, which is pretty batshit bad. Pretty bad as an episode. Um, we saw the powerful ninja get taken down by freaking Ronin out of all people. Ronin. It's not believable. In went any, it's not believable at all, and it just really made the ninja look like little bitches compared to other people. It's yeah, and my friend Ninja Man two eight five also pointed out a big plot hole within this episode. How did the police not check the security cameras and notice? Hey, that's not Zane. Are the police just that stupid in Ninjago? They probably are. <laughs> uh, now we're on to Encrypted. I never really liked this episode because it really just... If there was any point within these last two episodes, it's immediately destroyed within this ep next episode. Uh, because they literally escape literally an episode after they're captured. So there's really no point in capturing them if they were just going to escape an episode later. So that really destroys this episode. Then we got to Misfortune Rising, if I can find it. I think this is it, Misfortune Rising. Misfortune Rising is actually pretty decent. It's actually a pretty decent episode. Um, it got, you know, the first victim, as I would say, first victim, which is Kai. And But I did not like the way he wished himself away, and because the whole fangirls thing, what the fuck was that? But at least it was somewhat interesting and somewhat captivating. So I'll put it at C, just because I'm nice. Um, then we're on to On a Wish and a Prayer, which the sec second victim was Zane. But his was entire much worse than Kai's. And at least the episode in which Kai gets captured is somewhat, you know, entertaining. This one wasn't at all. It was just the ninja being pretty much dicks to Jay and Zane getting taken out in the most unconvincing way possible. So this episode was very, very bad. 
What was the next one? My Dinner with Nanakan. No idea what happened in this episode, so I will just put under can't remember. <sighs> Wishmasters. Wishmasters, I think, was kind of interesting. Um, but then we had Old Lloyd. And no one loves Old Lloyd. He just looks so stupid. And I don't like his old man device. Uh, so. But at least. But at least Lloyd and Cole got taken out in like a very, very convincing way. With Clancy wishing them away. Which is something I really didn't see. Oh and Miss Fortune Rising. This also had the episode which the Jay getting adopted thing. Which was one of the few things Skybound did right. Um, so Wishmasters. I believe this one episode was sort of. Eh. It was okay I guess. It wasn't good. But it wasn't terrible either. So I would say. A very low C. For me. Then we have, uh, The Last Resort, which is by far the best Skybound episode. This was Jaya done absolutely right. And all the other times, they were done pretty, pretty wrong. But this one did them really good. This one did them really good. And, um, it really... It do, it's not A or S tier, it's, but it's B. It's B. I'll say that. Infamous, I'm not entirely sure. This one, I'm thinking about moving it down to F because Nia was sort of a bitch this up. Nia was a bitch this episode. Dare with the... Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely deserve it down to F. I'm sorry. Okay. Because, you know, Dare's little sexual... Rem little... Fe not feminist. I would say sexist remark. Like, this is only where the big boys had or something like that. And Nia being a bitch and just just complaining about a bunch of pointless shit. So, yeah, I moved it down to F. It was pretty bad. Um, Operation Land Ho. Pretty good episode. I loved J. I like Jay's little ragtag group of, you know, ragtag group of discount ninja team. And, uh, and they did really very good. They held their own, and I... Like Jay getting all the ninja back, and it was very good. So B. <sighs> Please don't rant. Please don't rant. Please don't rant. Please don't rant. Okay. <sighs> oh shit! I don't, I forgot a uh, possession episode, the crooked path. I completely forgot that episode even existed. So. That's the little makeup, so Crooked Path. I had no idea what the Crooked Path was. Oh, what? what wait, 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 wait a second. Yeah. Why are some of these episodes moving down here? Why are some of these episodes down here? Stop that. Stop that. Um, but then we get to the way back. One of, if not the worst episode of Ninjago ever. How does Cole get hit by Nauticon's wish? How? Makes no sense. Why is Zane taken out first, okay? Just why? Alright? How can Flintlock aim all good all of a sudden? Why did Nia need to be shot? Why? I mean, okay. Back then, I disliked the time reversal. Not as much now, but because I under I didn't understand it back then. But now, I do admit that it was the only way possible. It was literally the only way. I, back then, I was super defiant. Um, but that still doesn't make up for how bad this episode was. It... The episode that pissed off a bunch of the fandom and almost made a bunch of the fandom quit the show. Um, as um, what what was his name? Prentice on YouTube says, if an episode can ruin an entire season for people, it's a good candidate for worst episode. It's a good candidate for worst episode of all time. And. and 
that's not what bothered me. The, the time reversal doesn't really bother me anymore. What does bother me is the random motherfucking giant flashbacks happening in the metal effect! <sighs> <coughs> Sorry. It really just shoved Jaya down our freaking throats. I feel like that's where my major, major Jaya complaints were um, was from this episode. It was just shoved down so much. And this is a note of how bad Ninjago can be when the best episodes are only at B. And uh, most of the episodes I either very lackluster or very forgettable with my dinner with Anakon or very bad with these five episodes. Half of the season is pretty bad, is F. I, and I thought Ninja Ball Run was bad. Ninja Ball Run was bad because it was just random and episodic. But at least it was in a season in which, you know, it was only, like, one freaking episode out of, you know, 13. This was, like, five out of six out of ten were either forgettable or just straight out absolute ass cheeks. And then... And that the only f four decent episodes were just that decent. They weren't God. They aren't episodes like The Invitation or or Rise or Day of the Great Devourer. And there's sure as hell no Titanium Ninjas, no Winds of Change, no Rises of the Spinjitzu Masters. No. There, it will never ever be on that tier. It will never, ever be on that tier. Okay? The Last Resort may have been the best episode of Skybound, but it was just decent at the very best. And if you like Skybound as a season, that's fine. But I just showing how much I dislike this season, and it's pretty much equivalent of Ninjago's version of The Last Jedi. Or Ninjago's version of the prequels. From The Last Jedi. Mixed at best. But there, there you guys go. Um, that is going to be it for my Skybound tier list um, video. Um, next time I will do Hands of Time. And then after that, um, Sons of Garmadon. After that, Hunted. And after that, Secret Set of Forbidden Spinjitsu. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give that thumbs up, subscribe to your channel, by clicking on that red subscribe button, and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.